So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get some opinions on what do you think about the game now, and then a year from now we can all look back on it and we can laugh at each other for it. Week one, game came out Tuesday, first tournament in Kansas City, so it's just going to be three quick questions. Number one, very briefly, what what do you like or dislike about Street Fighter V? Do you think it's a good game? What is something you don't like? What is something that you like? Street Fighter V, I feel, is uh, it's... I think it's going to be really great for the community. It's really easily accessible, but I feel like it's still got enough nuance and uh, character specificity. I mean, when those betas were going, that game was crap to me. 345, I think it's uh, it's fun, it's solid. I think that the, uh, the game is, I think everything that is not the gameplay about it kind of sucks. One thing, um, the walk speed is too slow. Cool that it's pretty simplistic. It makes it easier to like, kind of grasp your focus mid-match, I feel. But I don't like that the combos aren't big and hard. <laughs> there's easy to pick up characters, and there's characters that reward, you know, execution. <laughs> so, so there's some for all skill levels. Uh -huh. I like uh, throws and... Uh, the way knockdowns in general work and the way you apply pressure in knockdown. I like that. I feel like Capcom has put all their chips in on this game in some way or another. I feel like it lost a lot of depth that Street Fighter 4 had, and because of that, it's like, I don't know, kind of boring. Obviously, there's way less option selects, and I think option selects overall probably make for a worse game, but I did like them for generating height. When somebody okay. backdashes and somebody... Yeah. The jab and then the ultra comes out and sure. everybody's like, how the hell did he do that? The battle launches aren't eight-man lobbies. Okay, right. So it's just yeah, like one-on-one yeah. -on -one But back in the vanilla Street Fighter 4, that's what, how it's like too. Who do you think are top three characters? Week one release. Game came out Tuesday. Here we are, first tournament in Kansas City. Top three characters, who do you think? Chun Li, I think she's top three. And Chun, okay. right off the bat, Chun is crazy. I gotta make sure I get this right. Chun. Okay. I think Chun Li. I would say Chun Li, number one. This is not easy because I didn't really think about this before I sat down. Okay. I think Cammy, Chun, and Vega seem very strong. Do we, do we need to elaborate why or is this not <laughs> No, no, that's, that's fine. Just too much walk speed, too much footsie foot options, good mix ups, and variability, too much damage. Okay. I don't think she's gonna fall. Okay. Uh, I would agree. Rashid, I think, is top three. I think he will fall. Mm -hmm. Nash, okay. number two. Uh, as far as number three, who we got? Rashid, Ryu. Okay. Okay. Cammy. Okay. I think uh, if a good sim shows up here, um, I would say sim. Some people are saying Dalsim. Some people are saying Vega. For just as the game is right now, probably Dalton. Nash number two. Okay. And probably, man. This is a game. This is a game about footsies more than past Street Fighter games, sure. right? This is a game that's going to reward like strong footsie tools more sure. than anything else. Maybe Vega's the best of those. Okay. Vega seems very strong in this game. He seems like he has all the tools you need to be good in this game. And I think Vega is probably. I think Vega is the strongest character in the game right now. And I think in that regard, it's got to be Vega. It's really hard to decide between Ryu or Kami for number three. And, uh,. Maybe like Birdie, he kind of seems like there's never a good range to be at when you're against Birdie. Right. Alright, so who do you think is the worst character coming out here in week one? Who do you think is just weak? Who do you look at that you just go, I will beat this character non-stop because I think they're bad because of this, 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 and this. A lot of opinions so far have been very polarizing, right? So for example, you either love Ken or you hate Ken. Ken. Okay. <laughs> I think Geef is a little overrated, but he is also being underrated as well. People think he's either really bad or really good. He, it's, it's such a bummer that Laura doesn't have a lot of other, what other characters have. Okay. So I would put Laura as weak from a traditional standpoint. Laura and uh, Mika are really weak. People are going to get blown up by Laura. I don't sure. think there's anyone in this game that's outright bad. Right. Again, this is not easy. Again, there's a lot of balance going on here. A lot of people aren't going to like her based on, I just want to do pokes and I want to maximize damage on every hit confirmed. She's not that kind of character.
Who do you think is the most slept on character? Because you know a lot of people are hyped about. <laughs> a lot of people are hyped about Laura. A lot of people are hyped about Armika. Right. Who do you think is most slept on? Because we're like, oh, I love Armika. I played Alpha Three one time in my entire life. Armika. Okay. Yes. I think Armika. You're just thinking, oh, that's just a total fanboy character. Okay. So and then you see someone like Kevin Pham. Yeah. Or Blake. Yeah. Play the character, and they're just like. Well, yeah. Grabbing legs. Yeah, she does a ton of damage and has a lot more health than you think, and so... Yeah, she really does. She, 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 has, she has a lot better tools than you think. She is the only... Since there are no chip kills in this game, uh, she's the character I'm most terrified of having at zero life, and I can't chip her out. And she has so much damage. Because she has so much board, damage. On board and, all times. Yeah. character's really good or really bad, I think it's Ken. Mm -hmm. I think people think that he's awful, or that he's godlike, and I think the character gets... Too much mid-range damage. Just like Hakan in uh, Ultra Street Fighter 4, um, if you're willing to put in the work and learn the shit, people are going to hate you. Okay. So I put Laura as one of the potentially weakest, but also the most slept on. Okay. Hopefully people understand what I'm saying by that. No, no. I did a medium kick Tatsu to a fierce DP, and I got like 260 damage, and I had no idea what I was doing. Who do you think a month from now is going to be like, whoa, that character is blowing up majors? Uh, I think. I think also Cammy. Yeah, I think she's really good, and a lot of people don't see it yet. Kind of probably, I, probably just for you. For you? Okay. Who's I mean, talking about Ryu? It's like, yeah, it's for you. Yeah, it's low forward fire. Oh, a lot of like, damage. <laughs> I don't know. I don't hear a lot of talk about Ryu, and I feel like yeah. any really godlike Street Fighter player is gonna kick the shit out of people using yes, Ryu. I agree. This is this is the level of excitement I've been waiting for in this scene for I can't even count how many months. It just feel like we're spinning our wheels around here. Yeah. Like look at this. Yeah, this is crazy. This is going to be like three times as big on Saturday. Right, right. It's it's one of those games you look at and you like realize the roadmap ahead. Yeah. Is so long. So you have to, look, I played Persona for three years. I didn't have the cushion of like having uh, you know, major tournament support sure. for the game I chose to play. So right. now I kind of have that like that comforting feeling of like, yeah, this is we're all in it together this time. Yeah. <laughs>